Hey guys, what's up? My name is Vishal from MyWeb and in this video, I'm just going to show you how to make a database and connect with PHP PDO extension because of uh, some time ago, I posted a poll where I asked uh, a question where I asked a question like uh, which pattern we, you, we will use in this e-commerce series like a uh, PHP procedural or a PHP OOP or a PHP OOP with PDO extension. So most of the people uh, hit the uh, third option which is based on the mixed, uh, mixed of both like PHP OOP with PDO. That's why I'm here, uh, I'm using the PDO extension for connecting and op operate all the kinds of data operations in PDO extension. So first of all, I'm going to the my admin sorry not admin panel I'm coming back to the PHP my admin and make a new database so I, here is a create database option so I created data, database name database name is my wave underscore e name sorry ecom and change the option and uh, hit the create button okay now uh, there is nothing to do so I'm going back to my text editor in in this video I'm switched from back bracket text editor to the visual studio code because it's uh, too too much trending on this in this uh, all the kind in this year and the last uh, 2020 so that's why I'm using that uh, visual studio code so now uh, I'm coming back to the minimap of this uh, visual studio code here is the panel and in this panel, I click the right, right button of the mouse and uh, create a new folder. The class name is uh, class. File name is class and I make, I make a new file. The file name is d, capital D dot b, sorry, db dot php. And the class name, sorry, I open the php tag and close that. class uh, make sure the class name is similar to your file name so here is here's my file name is db so that's why I'm uh, writing db open and and uh, all kinds of uh, MySQL connection we have uh, four parameters like uh, host name username password and uh, database name so that's why I write private sorry I'm using the private key so uh, private you can also use the protected modif uh, protected modif uh, class modifiers but uh, I'm using the private dollar host the host name is localhost and again the private username sorry for that yeah username is uh, by default root and the password will be blank yeah and the uh, fourth one is database like a uh, db name or database so my database name is mywave underscore ecom okay after that uh, I take a construct method because of when you make object of this class then PHP will automatically call this uh, construct uh, method for run them okay that's why I'm using this public function underscore double underscore construct and uh, here we use the uh, try and if you get uh, getting any error then it will be then the catch method will be help us video exception
sorry not dollar dollar e okay now uh, the try is used for a red comment if it is success and the cache method is used for if it is getting any error okay now come come back to the try section i write a variable name is dsn okay so in this section we are using the mysql that's why i'm write uh, mysql the host name is localhost yeah this is a this is a private key that's why i have write a dollar this host okay semicolon and uh, db name equal to dollar this database yeah and i think it's uh, good okay and after that a uh, dollar option if you want to make this uh, like a uh, attribute restricted so that's why i'm mean, taking option for that and array video attribute uh, underscore persistent yeah here is that after that we take a connection variable so dollar this uh, db make a object of this of uh, pdo connection so new pdo and uh, yeah dsn option and after the dsn I take a dollar this username and the third one is password okay now here you go if you, if you get any kind of error then we take a exception so I echo connection error colon space yeah and after that dollar e and your um, message of this uh, error which uh, I mean uh, which kind of error you get uh, when you got any kind of error in the connection okay now I make a object of this for testing so dollar obj like a object equal to new and a db because we are making a object of this db db class now variable dump obj i think uh, we get uh, yeah i get an error in the fourth fourteenth line sorry i forgot uh, to mention a double column in this uh, line now press the control s now here is no any problems now uh, coming back to the your e-commerce uh, website and after that 
here is our uh, root uh, area of this root url so i write a class and db.php here as you can see our connection is not successfully connected with uh, our uh, database with a uh, pdf extensions if you will if you change changes uh, in the name of the database name like i it is the m I press the control s and I refresh as you can see uh, get message sorry for that this is the connection error as you can see uh, connection error uh, host db I think it's something wrong with them uh, wait yeah get message. oh sorry for that yeah it's a uh, functional so now as you can see here is the uh, your connection error unknown database my wave underscore ecom okay and you see that here is here is what here, here, here is no any database which name is my wave underscore eco okay now i again write a full name and correct name of the database and you refresh it's connected so now as you can i hope uh, you can un understand how how to connect with the database using php with video extensions now in in the next video uh, we will working on the insert class work on the insert class and uh, other uh, kinds of operations and after that after that video we will uh, create a uh, like a how to insert a category how to insert a brand name and other product variables and things so thank you so much for watching this video and uh, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button for make uh, make it fun. Thank you so much and stay with me. Happy coding.